What struck me today from the gospel was the word humiliated. When he had said this, all his adversaries were humiliated. And I was pondering over, did Jesus set out to humiliate his adversaries? No. That wasn't his point. Jesus doesn't want to humiliate anyone. He goes to heal this woman, and then he loves the synagogue official no less than he loves this woman that he heals. He loves him just as much because he is Almighty God and loves each person that he has made. And he even reaches out to this person using an argument that this person will understand. You know that uh, the rabbis say that uh, you can tie a certain knot and untie and bring your, your animals out to water them on the Sabbath day and that's not breaking the Sabbath. Something he would understand. How much more would not this woman be set free from that bondage? Not just a little knot. Something to help him to understand because Jesus loves him. He doesn't set out to humiliate him, but to show him the truth, to draw him into his heart. And as I was pondering over this, I said, but, but God does want to humble us. He does want to humble us because pride goes against the very heart of God. And so I was pondering over, what's the difference between humility and humiliation? And this is just my own reflections from this morning. I haven't looked it up. I don't know it's true. I haven't really tried it beyond my own prayer time this morning. So if you say, well, no, Father, that's the wrong definition. Okay, that's fine. Run away from that and find out your own definition. But what I saw the difference is both have to do with pride being wounded. With humility, God is trying to remove us from that pride. He's tried to wound that pride so that it has no authority in our lives. But, with humiliation, what happens is God wounds that pride, but we continue to cling to it. And so, we feel our face getting red, and I can't believe he just said that now. Because we're holding on to our pride, which has been wounded, we want to retaliate and have revenge. And I see that's the difference between humility and humiliations. Humility lets go of the pride when it is wounded. Humiliation clings to the pride when it is wounded. And unfortunately, Jesus wounded their pride because he's saying, I want you to have a heart like mine. To be humble. But his adversaries clung to their pride instead of letting it go. I think about all the times when I've been humiliated throughout my life. And how much of it was just me clinging to my own self. In those times when I've been humbled, it's been saying, okay, yeah, okay, my eyes need to be fixed on you, O Lord, not on me. Letting go of myself and clinging to God. This day, as Jesus reaches out to us, and he does cast down the mighty from their thrones and lifts up the lowly, he does humble those who are proud. He, when he comes and he humbles us, when he breaks down our pride, may we have the graciousness to let it go and to keep our eyes fixed on him and to learn humility instead of being humiliated.